This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlinePrevenings.com. So yesterday we were talking about why we have to use a cursor and what are the types of the cursors we have. And uh, visibility point of view, uh, we have a static, dynamic, and keyset-driven cursors. And from the how you wanted to traverse the cursor, where we have forward only, fast forward only and scrollable cursors already we had discussed all these things yesterday why is the cursor if you wanted to fetch some data and a dump into one cursor cursor is a uh, you can think of a variable okay or you could think of a think i think as a box where it is going to be you know uh, occupying in the tempdb database clear so whenever you create a cursor you can also declare the variables and dump the cursors data into that so you should be able to read a row by row from the cursor's value and you need to give cursor name cursor type okay and whether it is a static cursor scrollable cursor or whether it is a you know dynamic cursor so the type you can specify so we have static key set and dynamic sql statement you can write and we can open the cursor fetch the data one by one execute the statement now populate the cursor with the sql query and what you do fetch into okay in the fetch options you can write a single row only at a time so that is not permitted to get the multiple rows and you can close the cursor freeze the result set and lock set and cursor structure still available in the uh, tempdb database when you open it you should be able to open it okay so now can call open now this is what we were checking out yesterday deallocate the cursor means that it all resources are removed clear so this is very very important a cursor means it is just just like a looping operation right so many people what they do is that instead of a while loop they also create a you know cursor okay so cursor you can create get the data you can read update delete or while loop can only simply get the data can read it so the reading also can be done with the help of a cursor also so many people what they say in the internal documents instead of a loop you can go in for a cursor that is also fine but apart from that looping you can also do extra two things if you wanted to do it that can be implemented with the cursors clear now today let me talk about few more things so how to declare a cursor declare a bank cursor cursor for select star from the account master table so so this is a declaring a cursor then you populating declare a variable and you set at the rate x equals to 10 like that you declare a box and you put the data you open the box you get one row you get one row while at the rate at the rate which status equals to zero this is a global variable it tells that till and you keep on getting row by row row by row so all the data will be printed here or will be fixed there and close the cursor and deallocate the cursor make sure that we should not write at the rate symbol so cursor is a, a small variable or you can say it can hold a lot of data so you can simply think that there is a vending machine so when you go to railway stations or any shopping mall you have a lot of biscuit packets and everything right what you do you put a coin you get a packet you put a coin you get a packet you put a coin get a packet so this is, this is having a lot of biscuit packets there a lot of drinks bottle there but whenever you get you will get a single bottle so that is what is called a cursor cursor means you have a lot of items in a box but always you will get a single packet single box so vending machine is you can treat it as a cursor cursor is a box where you have a lot of data but at a time you will get only one box i wanted to buy thousand drink bottles i'll go to vending machine what happens it will give you always one by one, one by one. It will be very, very slow. So instead of going for you know a vending machine, so what I do, I go for the supermarket where I buy, I buy a lot of bottles. So try to understand what is the requirement. Okay, so available. If you're in the metro station or if you're traveling, you need only one bottle. So the usage is only one bottle. So what you do, you try to use a vending machine. That is a cursor. Okay, or you need. Uh, you need one bottle and for, for your kid you need one more bottle two bottles you need to get it the buy if there is a vending machine you can get it so that means when you have a small data requirement and if you if you wanted to loop through it the curses are good okay but i wanted to buy a thousands of bottles and still i'm implementing a cursor and that is completely banned it will take a lot of time so when should i use a vending machine 
when should i use supermarket that you need to understand okay fetching a single biscuit packet at a time single you know thing at a time is called a cursor okay but you can get the single bottle single biscuit packet so the more than that you don't know it but if you put you know celebrating any function or any birthday party at your home you have to buy a lot of biscuit packets lot of you know oh, the water bottles so that is the thing you have to go in for the supermarket supermarket means get the data from the table as it is and to use a loop and do with that but if when you have little amount of data i wanted to use then that is when we need to go in for small cursors and all so these are the simple example i can give from the real time so that you can just understand okay now a uh, cursor direction we had seen forward only and fetch you know uh, the next allowed data can apply to static key set driven and dynamic cases and the scrollable also can be applied to all above thing all fetch options are allowed for all other you know static key set driven and dynamic cases and the fast forward only means forward only but purely read only data you cannot update now let us see what are the options we have fetch next fetch next you know fetch first fetch prior fetch last fetch absolute nth row or fetch you know relative nth row n rows from the last row fetched okay and these are the fetching options we have in the cursor but these are allowed only in the scrollable okay if you use forward only only fetch next is allowed nothing is allowed inside the forward only cursor but if you use a scrollable cursor you have to simply go and you can use like this declare a cursor name cursor so i am mentioning which is a scrollable cursor okay so then you can write for if you don't write anything also for example you can need not say you know scroll here you simply put for and it can allow some options okay we will write without scroll with scroll also so whatever the data you want to get it you should be able to fetch it now okay let me take this you know oh, cursor let me show it to you i wanted to use a cursor but make sure that you are pointing to the right database first okay now as we discussed already now okay so all the data i am reading it okay so let me remove this and put simply put for so this is so declaring a cursor then populating the cursor and make sure that you are in the i bank database okay now what i am doing i am i can execute one by one because the data will get stored in the tempdb tempdb means till the connection is there this will be there when the when i close the connection everything will get deallocated okay so now executed i have executed a cursor all the data is been dumped to a my cr1 box okay now i want to open this i have opened this now what i'm saying i did not use scroll here but i wanted to fetch the last row if i don't mention anything will it work or not let me check it out okay so the fetch type last cannot be implemented with the forward only what is the meaning of this if you don't specify anything if you don't specify anything default is called forward only because i did not mention a scrollable here so by default if you don't mention anything it will be forward only so only fetch next is allowed fetch last is not going to be allowed so you can write fetch next here okay now it is going to be working then fetch next fetch next 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 row 102 then keep on keep on writing okay so then i wanted to what i wanted to do close and deallocate so i cannot do anything here clear but i wanted to implement what is called scroll then you need to write scroll here okay so before that you need to specify scroll if you don't mention anything it is forward only remember now again i, I wanted to declare this cursor now open the cursor now what i wanted to do i wanted to fetch the last row directly okay fetch the last row in the cursor what is the last row in the table we know okay 195 let me execute the table once again so when you go back and see what is the last row it is 195 right the same thing i am able to get it 195 row with madhu 
clear now i wanted to fetch the prior row you know fetch the row immediately prior to the current row so here in the madhu you know before that the row i wanted to get it so that is 193 i mean i am able to get it then fetch the second row in the cursor then we need to use absolute second okay from top you know it will be bringing you the second row from the top 102 clear fetch the row that is you know, three rows after the current row you're in the 102 then you can use relative so from the second you let me get the you know, third row from the second row so that is relative three so you can get 103 104 105 row. okay so then you can also go in for minus two direction so wherever you are from there you can go to upward directions fetch the that row prior to the current row whatever you want to do it so you can just go up and down minus minus plus okay and close the cursor and deallocate the cursor so you can get whatever you wanted to get let me run everything at a stretch okay so this is my cursor so i should be able to get whatever i wanted to get it so i can get it one by one one by one like this so i'm able to get only this row then cursor got deallocated now you cannot simply you know call anything here because when it is closed you will not be able to get anything again you need to declare a cursor open the cursor and do the things okay so if you don't mention anything here that is by default forward only cursor if you wanted to mention anything this is what is called as a scrollable or forward only cursor you have to mention the uh, direction there clear so what is that you wanted to do in this and the simplest thing not very complex so how do you know whether the cursor is open state or not this is one of the interview question they asked it okay so this is the we have some code this you can make a note of this or you can just watch this so how do we know whether the cursor is in open state or not okay so there is a function called cursor status okay global you know functions the cursor name you need to specify if it is a true if it is greater than minus one then above cursor is in open state for example let me execute you know when I execute it is not printing me anything because else black is not there okay but let me you know open this cursor let me create and open this cursor now the cursor name is my cr1 you go there cursor name let me you know put it here whether it is an open state or closed state so it can tell you the oh it is not printing anything let me go here and try to execute this the above cursor is in open state should give you yeah because i have came to the some other window right because the cursor is in temp db it is not going to be there in one more you know connection right so temp db data is accessible only to that window clear so you cannot come to new new or window and execute it when you give like this now whether it is an open state or you know closed state it can tell you else block you can write it so this is the cursor function if it is you know greater than minus one then it is open set let me close this if i close this it is already closed so it cannot print you anything because i don't have any printing you know else block here okay people may ask you how to find out you can tell them that cursor status if it is a greater than minus one then that is in the open state cursor status equals to zero that means no data to fetch it okay so cursor data whether it's open or closed you have to say greater than minus one so that is the one important concept rarely people would ask it because the curses we, we don't implement regularly but if you wanted to implement a while loop some people will use you know instead of a while loop they can also implement a cursor but remember that if you have a large amount of data the cursors are completely banned now the first one we're talking about you know static and key set driven cursor and dynamic cursor right? visibility point of yesterday i was talking about uh, when you are updating the data okay uh, on the cursor and at the same time the people are also updating the data in the database side what is the visibility for you if somebody else updating the data in the main table and what is the visibility for that guy when you are updating the data in the temp table so on that basis we have three types of cursors static dynamic and you said driven let me discuss today static cursors okay 
right so what is going to be happening so when you are interacting with whenever you write a stored proc or without a stored proc you can write the cursor loosely without a stored proc stored proc means what happens uh, that code reusability will be there whenever you are doing a looping could be without a while loop what people will do is that they implement a cursor whenever you call a stored proc what happens is that it is going to be declaring a cursor in the tempdb database gets the data from the you know stored proc and dump into a tempdb and you will be working on it but when you are getting doing lot of cursor operations you are making a copy of the data into tempdb at the same time other people let us say sonu here she is also doing some statements here here bhaskar is you know running a cursor so you are trying to work with the cursor but we know that the cursor operations are not done on the ibank directly we make a copy into tempdb we will be working on that so when i am working in the tempdb database and at the same time sony is inserting the data updating the data deleting the data directly to the bank database now if i do any update or delete what is the you know visibility on my update my delete to the sonu and when the sonu is doing some operations here and what is the visibility for me because i am the client guy i am using java and dot net i am calling a stored proc and i am also doing lot of things over there so what is the visibility to the bhaskar so two people you know running the things here let us understand today with one by one so if i take a static cursor what happens let us understand in the static cursor complete result set built on the tempdb not reflected at this and inserts updates deletes you know everything you know other reflects you others insertion deletions nothing is allowed to you it is always read only cursor so you will not be able to do any kind of a insert any case or any kind of an update or delete it is purely read only data and other insertions other deletions also you will not be able to see so this is what is called static cursor let me explain you this okay now useful for historical data reports for if you wanted to loop through for example i have some data i wanted to use a while loop instead of a while loop you can also go in for a cursor it simply fetches the data dumps into the tempdb database you fetch row by row row by row and do some transactions for example in ibank case study we were you know trying to get a running balance with the help of a loop right without implementing a loop what we can do we can implement a cursor there also we can get the data simply we try to you know keep on printing the message okay running balance is this much if the running balance is 100 200 then we can to print because we are not going to go to the database and update the running balance there it is only printing in the report okay so if you wanted to create any kind of reports then it is useful for the you know reports or historical data because when you have historical data nobody is going to be updating the original data for example yesterday's transaction is historical data will you go back to the table and update it no when there is no updations is allowed so that kind of a data you can go in for the static because static reports are static cursors are completely read only cursors so you cannot do any updation any any deletion on the data which is coming from this cursor but the data is completely you know or dumped down to the tempdb so tempdb is heavily used clear so let me tell you the static cursor how the things would happen here now bhaskar is executing one stored procedure and that stored procedure is having a cursor that is a static cursor let us think that morning 10 o'clock i have executed this what happens all the data from the ibank database for example i may write one query like this all the data at 10 o'clock is dumped down to a tempdb database a copy of data will dump, dump. so what i have to fetch next and fetch next i will be working on this so i'll be getting the data from here not from the ibank database okay so for example i have 1 2 3 here i have 1 2 3 so i should be able to think like this okay you have 1 a 10 you have 2 b 20 this is your data and all the data from original table will get copied to tempdb okay so 10 o'clock this is the data i am bringing all the data to tempdb i am doing okay so i can say fetch next and fetch next at the same time somebody has updated this to 22 somebody has inserted one more row here okay somebody has you know or deleted this row here so if somebody is updating any row somebody is deleting any data on the original table i don't get any clue 
because i am always working on the temp db okay so any table the table gets dropped also i am not worried about it because i am making a copy of that i will be getting a fetch next fetch next fetch next okay 10 o'clock i got it okay but you know 10 let us say 10 to somebody dropped this table so after 2 minutes somebody dropped this table but i'll be making a copy of the temp db i'll be working on it i don't have any clue so visibility point of view static cursors are zero so i cannot see what is going on there because i got the copy and i am reading my paper okay whether that guy who has supplied the data that guy is there or dead or passed away no clue at all for me clear so but i cannot update the data i cannot delete the data it is completely read only data clear so here the problem is that temp db space is heavily used okay i can write read only uh, supports select no delete no update purely read only data but others are updating the original data i don't get any clue because i am working on this i will be seeing the data from here only to the client application clear so the minus point here is that you can loop through if you wanted to loop through for example you creating some application i wanted to get the data create a temporary table instead of doing temporary tables and everything when you implement a the cursor automatically it will dump the data into the temporary table only okay so cursor is nothing but a temporary table and plus a looping through something like that okay na so many people who are having lazy to write while loops and everything what they do they never use temporary tables and everything they implement a cursor so when they run the cursor what happens is it whatever the data they wanted to get it they simply come to the temp db so it is just like a temporary table gets created then they'll also say fetch next fetch next fetch next at the rate a while at the rate at the rate while status equals to 0 that is looping through and get all the data and do it close and delegate and come out that so this is also one kind of a looping that you can do on the historical data static cursors are good when you have small amount of data if you wanted to work with historical data only you want to work as a loop then it will be good but it is completely not bad when you have a large amount of data in this because temp db space is heavily used when you have lots of data to be you know looping through then definitely this is going to be occupying lot of space remember or stored proc you can call and i can also call so when you are looping through your data will get copied if i'm calling the same stored proc again the same data gets copied in the temp db so try to understand temp db is a global resource anybody who's using the client application if the client application is calling a stored proc or a function which is having a cursor implemented inside that but you don't know that you know customer does not know that what is happening but the dba people know that array uh, this guy is calling this you know this one or the stored proc is being heavily called i need to have heavy temp db space clear if that is not there the stored proc will get stuck because the cursor by default needs lot of temp db space clear and all the data it is going to be dumping onto temp db so that is the big disadvantage of the temp db to overcome this the issues of the temp db you have one more cursor called keys at driven cursor so let me give you this table what is the type of the cursor and what are our actions and others actions also we'll discuss now now our actions we it is read only cursor we cannot do anything here clear we cannot update we cannot delete on the temp db data so others are inserting or others are doing anything i cannot see others actions everything is no 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 i told you right if somebody is dropping the table also i don't have any clue so others actions for me is zero okay this table will tell you that others whatever they are doing i cannot see anything but using a cursor i cannot insert the data either i can read the data or update or delete so not not applicable not applicable okay not allowed but others is completely zero static cursors are good if you wanted to loop through something and with a small amount of data when you have it for example a customer how many transactions a per month he can do so 100 or 200 not he, he cannot do 1 million transaction right so definitely you can implement a cursor there clear so if you wanted to loop through and print the statement of the bank okay you can implement uh, the cursor and loop through that now to overcome the static issues we have dynamic cursors but before that how to write the static cursors so you need to write the scrolling or forward only 
or you know fast forward only you need to mention the static then you need to put for so this is the data will go to this my cr1 so now my cr1 you can declare as a temp temp temporary table that's it okay temporary table all the data gets there you keep on fetching the data and this is looping through all of them and everything is over you can just close it and deallocate it only thing is that you need to change this to scrollable and static or forward only static whatever you wanted to have it or if you don't mention anything simply cursor static for so it is by default forward only forward only means only fetch next is allowed right so this is how you can write a cursor okay what is static or scrollable whatever you wanted to do it that you should be able to do it you cannot update you cannot delete only you can read because we're talking about static cursor when this cursor getting a data it will get all the data from the account master table at that point and dumps on to the you know try you know, the temp db database then you're getting the data from the fetch next means you're getting the data from the temp db database arrow by arrow so that's what you need to understand clear now you can also use static with scrollable there is no issue only the scroll but you can go up and down fetch next fetch lost and uh, you can use the loop from there a lot of things you can do it if you wanted to loop through it you need to use this statement while at the rate at the rate fetch status equals to zero it means till end you get the data okay so that is the point you should have it or manually you get fetch next fetch next and do it whatever you want to do it the only thing is that static scroll forward only fast forward only only whatever you wanted to have you can have it so what i am now trying to do i am using a static cursor but i am trying to update the data i am getting a one row and update account master set name equals to manisha where current of my cr1 what is the meaning of wherever my cursor is pointing to that is the meaning of this okay you cannot write where account number equals to 101 that is not okay wherever my cursor is pointing that row name you should be able to update so this is what is cannot happen because static cursors cannot be implemented for the updations when you try to execute it it will give you lot of errors to you clear so that is what is the thing you should be able to understand so nothing can happen here okay so let me when you take this and try to execute it what happens you will come to know okay i'm using my table so all the data i'm taking okay i don't have much data here so all the data i'm just dumping it here and I try to update the original table itself and get one row so till this point there is no issue i'm able to get okay so 101 name is obama that i wanted to make it to manisha okay let me try to update so when i try to update i'm getting an error because the cursor is read only clear why because i have used what a static cursor when i use a static cursor so this statement is completely not allowed so where you need to use like this only where current of my cr1 what is that whatever the cursor is pointing to okay so in that row only you can do the modification not to the next row not to the prior row okay so you get one more row you should be able to get one more row now you are pointing to 102 that row name is radha krishnan that i wanted to update now wherever i'm pointing that i wanted to update it will again say it is a read only cursor okay it is not at all allowed so you will not be able to do any operation so this is completely invalid when you write like this so i am deallocating only you can loop through it get the data it is a static cursor only you know or read only data can be done but now as we know that it is static we can use for the reports okay can we use static cursor for update deletes the answer is no now key set driven cursor i told you right the static cursor are going to be taking large amount of data from the original table and dumps into the temp db temp db space is heavily used okay the used so that is where the people have questioned microsoft here so this is what is happening then how to do how to go about it and static cursors are again read only data so i wanted to use temp db space less less temp db space i have i wanted to use it and i wanted to perform updation deletions and reading operations on the cursor data then microsoft given as one more option with the key set driven cursors okay key set built in the temp db not a completed data 
build from set of columns that uniquely identify rows in the result set. Now changes made to the non-key set columns are visible to you and made by the cursor owner. Yes, made by the others users, you should be able to get the visibility from both angles for, for me and for Sonu also. Sonu is also updating the data, right? So now other sensors not visible here. Deletions detected when the row is fetched. Let us understand slowly. Okay. Now cannot be used joins, queries, or statement containing distinct group by clause union. So minus functions. So these are a few you know, restrictions on these queries. Okay. Uh, used on joins, queries, statements containing distinct. Okay. Group by union intersect. If we have these things, okay, uh, then definitely you will not be able to use them. Now, when you wanted to use a key set driven cursor, definitely you should have a primary key column on the table. If you don't have a primary key column, definitely key set driven cursor cannot be implemented on the table. Remember this point. If there is no primary key or a unique key on the table and a key set driven cursor, you cannot implement at all. So that is one more restriction. And some more things when you have a distinct group by clause union, so definitely you cannot use uh, the key set driven cursor. This is these are the two points you need to understand now let me explain this first okay so how the things would happen i'll tell you now let me go back take this okay now instead of a static i'm talking about the key set driven cursor in the key set driven cursor what happens is that static cursor already know when you write the query the complete query will get executed all the data it is going to be dumped onto the uh, the tempdb database that's what we know it but what will happen in the key set driven cursor so it is not all the data for example this is my table original table this is called account master table okay now this is what is called account master table i have now on this i have taken the key set driven cursor in the key set driven cursor what happens is that in the tempdb not all the data for example, let me insert one more row also here. This is original table. Select star from AM table. All the data I'm taking it. In the static, everything will get copied. But now, in the key set driven cursor, what will happen? I'll tell you. Not the completed data. Only the key column data gets occupied here. What is the key column? The key column, let us say account ID and a name, and you have a balance, right? So the only the first column data is going to come here not anything one two three that's it okay what is the advantage here if you have thousands of columns here the complete row is not getting getting copied in the key set driven cursor in the temp db when you execute at 10 o'clock for example morning 10 o'clock you have executed key set driven cursor only the key the column which will get populated in the temp db database now you are in the one and a two and a three that is what is happening here so that, that is a point you need to understand so temp db space is not at all used data much is not used because you're not copying the complete data clear now what, what happens here you're copying you're here first fetch next so the row you wanted to fetch it now the remaining data is not here by taking this one SQL server will go to row number one and this data is going to be fetching and giving it to the client application. Now what happens is you assume that it will take the one here. It goes to this table, get that data and it is going to be giving the, the complete data from the original table itself. This data you cannot give it in the static because in the, in the key set because there is no data here. Only the temp DB will have the columns, key columns. It will take the one, go to this table, get the original data and give this to the client. Okay, so that's how. Now you're pointing to this. Now when you say point to fetch next, you're pointing to two and what is happening? Again, you'll take the two, you will come here and this row only will be shown to the client. Clear? So now we are not getting any data from directly here. Try to, you'll get the two. Go here, get the second row and showing it here. So when you are going here and fetching the data at the same time, Sonu also can update a lot of things here, right? So what is doing now Sonu? Sonu is updated, it is a 30, it is updated to let us say 55. Now you are fetching this row. Now what you say, you are pointing to two and you will say fetch next. When you say fetch next, what will happen? You will take the third and you go there 
and before that sonu has updated this value okay now sonu updations you can see it now you will be able to get 3c55 only that means the visibility from here you go back and get the data you get updated the data because between she got she has updated one row okay when you say fetch next and go you can see others updations because when they're updating the data you can fetch the data and see the latest data only now from here again you can tell them that fetch first okay when you are hearing when you are here sonu has a deleted this row let us think like that okay she is doing because you are here and the sonu has deleted that row and what you do fetch next fetch first row when you say fetch first row take one and it try to go here one is not available when the one is not available you will come to know that somebody has deleted this row so if others are deleting or on original data you will come to know you will get a information saying that the row which is got deleted that means you are working on 1 2 3 here but you have one but again, again you are from 3 when you are going to go back and try to get it so that is row is not there that means you the visibility is there for you somebody is updated the data clear so that is the updations you can see okay if others are updating if others are updating yes we are able to see it okay if others are deleting that is also we are able to see it if others are inserting the data now you fetch one is not there you fetch next two two is there but after you are reading the data somebody is inserted a row so one is inserted a row called like this when they are inserted so you are pointing to fetch one fetch two fetch three so you never never see others insertions okay because you don't have any clue because at the time of you know uh, getting the data here you have only one and two and three if others are inserting that is no visibility for you okay so you cannot see others insertions okay now you wanted to update the data for example let me put one also here okay okay now you wanted to update the data you take a one and you know wherever you are pointing to that you wanted to update when you are updating for example one to 22 so you are updating where you are updating taking the one and you are updating on the original column only when you update here when the sonu wanted to see because she is getting the data from directly account master table she can see your updates because you are taking only the number wherever current of wherever current of means whatever the row i am pointing to the balance i would like to update so i am pointing to 2 or i want to update the balance is you know 55 or 44 so you are updating on the original data only that means so you update others also can see it if you you know or delete this data If for example i wanted to delete the data so you can delete i'll i'll point to three row and i am planning to delete this row so well, when you delete others people can you know uh, come to know that this row has been deleted from here because others are seeing this table only they can know okay but now you cannot insert the data because using a cursor i told you cursors are not used for the inserting data read the data get the data and on top of that you read it you update it you delete it so you cannot delete it so you can update the data okay yes you can delete the data yes and other people can see it but you will not be able to insert the data with the help of a cursor it is not permitted it is no clear so it is not applicable with the cursors clear now you have this data we are talking about updations of this you may update this column but what happens sometimes people may update the key column itself for example you got 1 2 3 and you are fetching on 3 okay then you fetching on 1 somebody went here updated this column to 20 okay what column got you know uh, updated the 2 has become 20 now for you are here you trying to get a 2 now you take that 2 and go here now 2 is nowhere okay when the 2 is nowhere you thought that the two row got deleted but you don't know that that got updated you will give a error message saying that the two row is no more it is deleted so that's how you think it but actually what is happened that two itself got updated to 20 so if others are updating the key column so you have a visibility visibility means you can tell them that okay array here i am i am able to have the two but now it is two is no more so you think that it is deleted but actually it is got updated so when others are updating the 
you know, or non key columns, you will come to know. If they're updating a key columns also, you'll come to know by saying that row is missing it. Clear? So all of them we should be able to understand here. So here, tempdb space is very lessly used, and you're going to go back to the iBank database, the account master table. You're doing everything on this table only. The visibility for the Sono is there, and the visibility for you also there. Only thing is that the insertions made by others, we cannot see it. Okay, that is the issue. That's what I told you, right? If you go, somebody is inserting this data, you don't have any clue here because you're talking about only the three rows. That is the minus point about this one. Clear? So let me go and see this. What are the things? Our actions we can update, yes. We can delete, yes. So we cannot, you know, others insertions only, we cannot see it. Others deletions we can see. Others are updating the non-key columns and the key columns we can see. If they're updating the balance, I can see. If they're updating a 2 to 20 also, I'll come to know that the 2 is got deleted. So everything, you should be able to do it on your own. Here, the beauty point is that the tempdb space is completely reduced. So that is the beauty about the key set driven cursor. Clear? Now, the last one is called, so how to write the key set driven cursor? Simply scroll or you can put, you know, for forward only, anything is fine. Because forward only means a row by row. You wanted to go a looping operation, then you can put, put the scroll bills, you can go up and down, okay? What I'm saying, get all the data dump into tempdb, but all the data will not go there. Only the key column data, 101, 102 will go there. And you get one row, first row will get it, and that row, and you're looping through. So this is how you can loop through the data, okay? But if I wanted to loop through, or if I wanted to update anything, simply you write, page one row, update account master table, okay? Uh, set C balance equals to like that. Already this statement, you know, right? How can we update it? Update account master table, set C balance equals to 10,000. Where current of my CR1? This is the point you should write. Where current of my cursor name? My cursor name is ABC or my CR1, my cursor 1. Okay. So wherever I am pointing to, I am pointing to first row. Right. So there the balance you have to update. So whatever you want to update, you have to update. You need to use key set driven cursor here. You see, key set and try to implement. So this will get activated. Let me. to execute this now i'm able to get the data now let me go to my own table and see what is the data here the original data itself became manisha clear because i have done with the updations with the help of what a key set driven cursor but i got the next row i had implemented this now when i go to the original table itself let me take okay original table and try to execute the query. Now the Obama has become Manisha. Clear? So whatever you wanted to have it, that you should be able to have it. So I have done with the help of a key set driven cursor only. So if I'm doing something, it is getting reflected in the original table itself. That's what I told you, right? So like that, you get something and do updations on the original table only. Clear? So getting the data pointing and how the things are happening already, you know it. So it is this thing. Tax you need to use where current of my CR1. Wherever it is pointing, that address you need to modify it. That data you should be able to modify it. For example, in Amazon.com, you fetch some data, right? So in that data, you have they'll give, they'll give you your address, uh, three to four addresses they'll be maintaining. But you wanted to point something and update it. You wanted to point something and delete it. So that kind of an operations we can do it with the help of a cursor. So okay, you get the data. We get the first row and update it, delete it. Lot of things you can do it. Clear. Now dynamic cursors means what is going to be happening? It is not at all a temp DB. So here, all the you know insertions, deletions, everything you do directly to the base tables only. Okay, by putting lot of cursors there, there is no temp DB at all involved in this. You directly loop, you know, go go going to you know go to the base tables and do it whenever you insert whenever you delete whenever you do anything you can do it but so using a cursor you cannot insert the data but using uh, you know dynamic cursor you can update delete but there is no tempdb space here everything is going to work on the 
original tables only so others insertions also you should be able to see because you are working on the original table there is no temp db space used in this dynamic cases all changes are visible when you go for the dynamic cases which are very very costly and others are updating others are deleting and you know our, our we can do this but others are inserting we can see and updations whatever key column non key column everything we can see relations also we can see this you can do each and everything here clear but you will be working on that directly on the original data there is no temp db space is required for this clear if you wanted to do a row by row operations i wanted to have a loop through operations then i wanted to update then you can go in for a dynamic access okay because dynamic it will give you a fetch by row by row and you can you know get the data and you update it if you wanted to update something and it is simply a looping and updating okay on the basis original table itself you can update it so that whatever the data you have it that you want to update you can go in for the dynamic cursors clear so tips on choosing the cursor is very very important dynamic cursors open faster than the static or cursor driven cursor because there is no temp db space heavily used clear and for absolute fetches use key set driven or static cursor if you want to get the nth row 10th row something like this so this will be the good for you and a temp db space is required for the static and you know key set driven cursors already we spoke about it okay this is the syntax and uh, the dynamic cursors if you wanted to implement simply write dynamic if you don't specify any scroll or you know fast forward only forward only it is only forward only cursor so you can say fetch next and wherever you're pointing you can just mention that and update it clear and case driven cursor also i wanted to fetch or i wanted to delete so you can say that delete fetch last row and do the updation fetch last row do the deletion so a lot of things dynamic and i want to delete something so fetch next row delete from account master where current of cr1 so this is very important point that you need to understand clear guys now key set with delete you can also delete pitch next whatever you want to do it can we insert values with the help help of a cursor no any cursor static key set dynamic cursors only get the data read update delete using a cursor you cannot insert the data into the base tables that what i told you so these are the cursors cursors are good if you wanted to perform a looping operations on the small set of a data clear and sometimes many people what they do is that instead of declaring a temporary tables and while loops instead of that they'll go for the static cases okay but if they wanted to update the data on the original data small set of data then the better you can go in for the dynamic or is a driven cases clear but cursors are you know on the large amount of data using cursors is completely banned 100000 rows it is fine but not on the uh, huge 1 gb of data 10 million data i wanted to do the bulk operations it will take lot of time and cursors are a performance point of view very very slow because it will fetch a data a row by row row by row row by row that is one case because of that many people will say that cursors are performance wise bad okay so th this point people would ask you did you any time implement a cursor if yes where did you implement on what type of data you have implemented you can tell them that i had implemented to create some kind of a reports instead of a while loop i had implemented okay so i never implemented on the in updations and deletions but i have implemented because of the while loops and everything and small amount of data so in the best example you can quote them that i wanted to make the statements of the you know swiping cards for example you're talking about a loans or you're talking about you know emi payment how much you know how many emis you know they paid i wanted to create a monthly reports and send it to the people so in our project so what we do is that we had implemented a small you know what is that uh, looping so for that purpose we have used static cursor because emis uh, one may guy may pay lost 20 emis right monthly equal installments so 20 rows 30 rows per customer not more than that or if it is saving 10 years of you know uh, loan emi also per annum 12 rows because one month one emi 12 rows 120 rows maximum okay or monthly bank statement monthly swiping cards how many you know swipes you do per month in a, in a given you know so credit card so not more than some 50 to 100 right so if you wanted to loop through that kind of a data so definitely you can blindly use 
or uh, your you know uh, while trans while instead of creating a temporary table dumping into here and looping through while loop so people will readily use a this words okay this cursor so you can tell them that where you have implemented give me one example we can tell them that so i want we are i'm currently working on a banking project or a loans project or a mortgage project whatever you have okay uh, uh, once in a quarter once in a year we're supposed to send what is called as a bank statement or ema statement to the customers so what we do we are writing is it we are writing a loop we print the customer name customer address customer loan amount he has taken and what is the emis he has paid so far and what is the emis he failed so that i'm fetching it if you know if the date is uh, if the emi amount is a blank that means that, that, that that's where he has failed okay so how many times you know he missed the emis and how many times he paid on time so these are the things a small report we are making and we are sending it to them that's it once in a year you run this proc or once in a three months you run this proc and run it clear so this is how you can tell them where you have implemented you can yeah, you can tell them that uh, on the simple data you can use this very very easily and the real time also you can implement very very easily thank you guys